Okay, okay, okay. Let's get this daredevil reaction over with. You guys have been messaging me on Twitter, on Instagram, everywhere. Let's watch Marvel's Daredevil Season 2 official trailer. Let's just, let's do it. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, shit. Call back to the first one with the. Oh. Hello, Matthew. Oh, part two in a few. Okay, okay. All right. I was wondering why they put part one. There was something. I, there was something I was gonna say about that. Um. Fuck. Fuck. Don't. Let, ah. One bad day. Now, I know Alan Moore, for those of you that don't know, Alan Moore is probably one of the most influential comic book gods ever. Not Frank Miller. Um, Alan Moore uh, wrote some really good-ass good shit. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? He wrote The Killing Joke, and um, The Killing Joke is what would some people would speculate to be, would probably be kind of the Joker's origin, but maybe not really, and it, may, it might have been all one big joke, but for the longest time, it, it's, it's, been, it's a, a, a very influential comic book, um, and there's one line in there where um, all it takes is just one bad day, um, and it's been used many, many times um, in the Batman lore, but I thought that was kind of interesting that they threw it in there uh, for Daredevil because there are sometimes a lot of connections with Daredevil and Batman, especially, um, fortunately, unfortunately, with the Frank Miller connection of Batman and uh, Daredevil both writing uh, the uh, very influential comics and such um, for both of those characters. I think he's handled Daredevil a lot better, though, um, because he wasn't on it for, for, for too long, I suppose. I don't know. Um, but we're not going to get into that point. Uh, I wonder if, uh, uh, he's going, uh, Punisher-ish character, or the Punisher, is, is this his origin thing before he starts doing the skull? Because it looked like he didn't actually have the skull, um, uh, insignia yet. Um, I don't know fully if... I don't know if I'm fully feeling him as the Punisher. Uh, I'm gonna just call him Shane. I don't even know what the fuck his name is. But I'm 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 not sure if I'm fully feeling him as the as the Punisher yet, because 
uh, I don't know, like, even, like, so my idea, my feeling of the Punisher has always been the more big, bulky, like, when you, when that motherfucker walked in, it was a giant death sign, that you would always see that shit first, and even though, yes, even though I know that second movie they made sucked really bad from Lionsgate, and it was terrible at, uh, casting choice, some of it could have been saved, but the story was pretty bad. The look, at least, looked a little more like the Punisher, Punisher Max. That being said, I actually liked the guy that played the Punisher in um, the one that was good with John Travolta. I liked him, but it took a while for me to really feel like, okay, this is the Punisher type of thing. So, I don't, like, for me, right now, from just from what I've seen, he doesn't, like... He, he just has this more like scrawny scrawny is a bad word but like yeah he really does look like I guess like the sense of uh, the realistic tone they're going for like we see like uh, Vanilla Isis well not even I won't even put him in the same area as Vanilla Isis but um, just the um, what, what, I, what I'm trying to say is like just a re more of less a regular guy um, that's going out to go fuck shit up and shoot up gangbangers and such. Um, I don't know. It might. We'll see what happens in time because it it, it just kind of looked like when I saw Daredevil and Punisher um, fighting together. I'm like, damn, this kind of looks, kind of looks like just regular guys fighting. Like it didn't really have that soup like superhero. And I know it's a Netflix production, but like it didn't have like that like more toned up look I guess I was kind of expecting from the Punisher um, he looked a little more open or weaker like I don't want to say weaker but he just looked a little more like like relaxed I guess I don't I don't know like um, I don't know it's probably just really because of my image of what the Punisher is and how I ha how I have come to know know him for the majority of uh, comic book history and such with just being Punisher Warzone, big ass motherfucker, like coming in there, like fucking shit up. But I don't know, I didn't again look at Chris Evans and such as Captain America, so, um, but he's fucking ripped too, so. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Uh, either, anyways, either or, I'm still gonna watch it. I'll definitely do the premiere on Rift TV. Um, if I can, if I have time to edit it, which I generally don't, especially March, fucking no. But I might, I what I think I'm gonna do, because uh, what uh, with the Daredevils and Jessica, I still haven't finished Jessica Jones because of this reaction situation. Um, it's just, I can't, I can't do it um, easily. So I think what I'm gonna start doing is I'll probably just react to the first episode edit it up and then I'm gonna watch all of them by myself whenever I can squeeze some time in and just take it from there because with Jessica Jones and Daredevil I just I, I, half the time I'm just sitting here like I'm enjoying it but I'm not really giving any sort of entertainment and we had this problem with Daredevil the first season uh, one of the reasons I didn't finish doing the reactions I watched it all I recorded it all but it just wasn't interesting enough I couldn't really give say anything so and I don't like just uploading just sitting and staring because uh, I just think the tone of these stories aren't made for big reactions and such does it make sense so I'll probably just review it though or whatever all right I'm done let's wait till part two and I'll make another long ass video I'm out peace there's this story that I read or Maybe it was a porno about a black dude in Japan, a, a prince or something. I don't know. This was years ago before, you know, MySpace and High Friends.